Okay. Um, hey guys, uh, sorry my hand is in the way of things here. Let's get going. Um, this is Pyro Freak 1993 here. And, um, uh, I just want to show you guys what I picked up today at my local grocery store. Um, uh, my local stop and shop in Whiting, New Jersey. Um, um, it's not much. But I'm going to showcase everything they have tomorrow, because I am going there tomorrow, so I'm going to showcase what I have, and, you know, what they have at the store, and stuff, so, without further ado, let's get to the video, uh, Matt, let me know, uh, hold on, I'm going to switch it on, here, hold this, let me know if you can see what I'm holding up, it has to go like that, like, the long ways, the friend. No. Yes. No, turn it the other way. Alright, can you see what I'm holding up? Yeah. Okay. I Thanks. think so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, this is the Silver Crackling Salutes. Now, I know what you're thinking, guys. They look like ash cans. But they are not, because they crackle. Uh, do we have anybody watching? Uh, no. Okay. There are 36 supercharged pieces. And anyway, sorry for being, uh, you know, absent as of late. Just a lot of family stuff came up. We're going to try to get these open so I can show you guys what they look like. Because, you you know, what really, sorry, what really caught my eye about them is that I'm sorry. I got no nails when I'm trying to do this. It really kind of you know, caught my eye about them is they are different. It's, I've never seen crackling, you know, ash cans. So, you know, that's another thing that kind of like really caught my eye about them. And I'm just trying to get the rest of the table. See, this is kind of how they get away with like making a firecracker, like almost kind of like thing. I, yeah, because they say it emits sparks, which really is not really a ground, it's a ground item, but really, it could be considered. Well, no, because when I light these things off, sorry, sorry guys, tape, I gotta get rid of the tape. When I light these off, oh, sorry, the tape is just fucking messing me up, sorry. When I light these off, guys, they're not gonna explode, they're gonna crackle. So, I just got a sorry. Okay, guys. These would be them. I just got to kind of open up the box a little bit. So, I'm just going to take one out and show they you. They look like a... F uh. Okay. So, I already don't like that. That they're crackle. That one is... Uh, I'll kind of show you one that's not bent. But I'm hoping that's not all of them. Uh, see, we have one that's... Pretty straightforward here. We could like that one, I won't really. Yeah, but I just want you guys to kind of get a feel of one for one that's not meant. Let me see if we can just bend this. No, no I just are kind of, they're kind of bent. I don't know why. All of them? No, no. Just the paper. No, it's, it's the thing itself. But anyways, guys, we're going to leave this one out. Because I kind of want to get off. I kind of want to just show you. Let me just shut this box. Sorry, I'm looking away. Shut this box. Okay. So this is it, guys. Pretty straightforward. It's going to crackle. How much crackle, I don't know. But I'm hoping we get, like, a nice you know, big yeah. burst of crackle with it. I mean, because they are nice. Well, they seem nice anyways. I mean, it's crackling sparks. Yeah. As yeah. you can see. This is caution flammable. Uh, we got somebody watching. Yeah, whoever you are, you know, um, just... See, it looks like an ash can, because, see, it has, like, the... If you notice, it has the flat, white, solid color yeah, like tube the on the top, and I just want to note, too, uh, nice, nice long fuse on these, so you have to get away. Oh, we have another person watching. You have time to get away with these. Yeah. It's this crackling silver sluts. Now, 
you know, guys. I mean, See, you notice they look like an ash can because well, see. they're not. They're not so much. I think they're a little bit longer than an ash can. But you could tell like the solid white colors, with the solid color on the top. Usually, like an ash can, they have white. Yeah, like green on the or bottom, red. They, yeah, they have it. You know, so um, uh, all I got to say left on these is uh, get my face. Yeah, expect a demo on these guys, cause you know. Um, and the price wasn't terrible on them. We'll see how the performance done. It, don't yeah. worry about the box. You yeah, get a view of the box. For all you nuts, though, that like all this, like, stuff. Uh, it's 1.4G consumer. And the code is UN0336. So. Emits crackly sparkles. Be careful. Read warnings on the back. Phantom. As you can see, I'm zooming into thirty yeah, guys, I'm, thirty-six supercharged pieces. I'm gonna go into something here that Wait, let me just kinda, you know. Um crackling. Uh they really should call these crackling balls. But um Well no, they're trying to get I like that they have the firecracker effect. Like the the longness of like I guess you can say with some of the firecrackers. Um I wanna go into something, guys. Um, I'm gonna tell you something. Now, my local store started carrying Phantom. Am I gonna go back and pick up some stuff? Uh, like tomorrow? I am not sure yet. Uh, they were kind of expensive. They were really expensive. This is the only good deal that I could find. I'm not saying I'm a 100... Show them the one that was kind of bent. Just to like, you know, get an idea of like how some of them come out. Yeah, you see this one's kind of bent, guys. So we'll light that one off and we'll see how that one goes. I don't really, I mean, <coughs> necessarily I don't really, really like focus. I don't really like that. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's a firecracker, so what's the worst it could do? I mean, well, it's, sorry, sorry, um, crackling salute, they look like a firecracker. I mean, the worst it could do is not, is not go off and then you just pour some water on it. Yeah, another thing... Or you could just leave it there, you know, chances are thing, if you leave guys, it there. Another thing, too, is, I'm going to tell you, is, I don't want you to think that I'm a 100% a a hater or phantom. Like, if there's a cheaper store, I will shop at it. But I'm not going to say, don't, you know, their products... Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to close this shit. And one more thing, you could, like, when that thing's bent, you could, I mean... You would pour some water on it, or chances are leave it there. I mean, chances are it'll just go off if that's you leave it there sometimes. The so, I mean, you could do it that way, too. I mean, because it's just going to gonna crackle. The only thing is I don't know how much crackle it's going to have. I mean, it might... He, we don't know yet. Yeah, guys, I have no idea what these do or how much... If anyone knows what they do, how much crackle and how long it lasts... I mean, we're well, going mean, to time we it. Know, we know how much long... We know how long they're going to last. They generally only last up to about a few seconds, if that. But I'm wondering if we're going to get, like, bright, big bursts of crackle out of these guys. Now, I'm hoping that is is the case. But again, like I said, I've never... Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to get this box close so they don't, you know, you know, come out. Yeah, we, we got three people and two lights. Uh, I don't know if it was the same person that came out and then came in. Like he clicked out and came into the video chat. Uh, we got four. Uh, uh, you want to yeah. show Want to show the fourth? Uh, uh, I'll just show you the box, guys. Uh, yeah. you, you'll be able to see it in our live video. Yeah, uh, as you can see, nice long fuses there. Cause you can see like the fuse still going. Yeah, here's the thing, guys. I just don't know how long of like a crackle we're going to get out of these. But, you know, for eight ninety nine for 36 pieces, really not Make that sure bad. Gonna... Really not that bad on that price, so. But I will go in depth tomorrow and show you what they have. I'm just going to say that what I looked at today was really, was really expensive. Like, more than, than what you're going to see from TNT if you live in the area and they have Phantom Fireworks. Like, I, I, I pretty much know some of the prices now that... I think that Majestic Lightning was 12. They had four ground blooms. They had a package of ground blooms for 99 cents. Uh, they had uh, some clay smoke balls and whatnot for a few hours. I'm going to film this. And they had uh, War 
for a light, and the majestic lightning was eight dollars. Uh, sorry, that's that's my mom. I'm coming. I'm coming. You know, uh, and, and it was really expensive today. A small dragon boy for eight bucks. Why? Yeah. So, so oh, I see. So, so to let me know who's in here, fireworks in life, uh, pyro nurse. Thanks for joining, guys. Yeah. So, that's it, man. That's basically all I wanted to say about that. Um. So yeah, like I said, expect a demo real soon on those. I'm excited to see how much crackle we get out of them. I'm hoping it's a lot because I'm just hoping that they, um, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, sorry, I'm looking away. Like, I'm hoping that they, um, put, a, like, you know, like, what am I trying to say? Where it's not just, like, a filler. Like, they make the thing larger and then you get less crackle because it's a filler type thing, you know what I'm saying, so I'm hoping that's not the case, and that there is a lot of powder and stars in there, you know, stuff that, that makes it crackle, so, alright guys, anyways, let me see these comments, oh, yellow groove, phantom is high quality, but a bit expensive, yeah, you won't need any water, it will go off quick, yeah, that's true, um, I'm just sorry if my hand's in the way, I'm just trying to read these comments. Thanks for joining, guys. Uh, they No, they're not salutes, fireworks for life. Josh D. Cool, Phantom is national chain, but would never sell, but never sell salutes, but these might be cool for the price. They do sell, well, Yellow Group, what they, what they call is salutes, they sell. They're like their version of ash cans. I've actually seen them before. Yeah, I'm really interested to see what they do, guys. Like I said, I'm... Or, yeah. My guess by... Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I'm hoping a wall of crackle yellow groove. That would be nice. Like... Uh, yeah, because, you know, like... Some of these crackling balls, you can get a lot of crackle, I feel like, in them. And what I think is real cool... Is if you, well, anybody that's got like a slingshot, if you, what's so cool is, if you take a crackling ball, and you shoot it off in a slingshot, like right as it's about to go out, go up, it'll like, break open in midair and crackle, which I think is cool. So, yeah guys, like I said, uh, thanks for the two likes, and the three people that are still in here, and I'm hoping to, let me see. Yeah, um, just to kind of note too, with some of the things he said, they just had they were my brother's back. They they were um, they had a little dragon boy which was like eight dollars, and then they had like these small little ones, which was like four. Now if uh pyro they were like four dollars. If pyro nurse is still in here, he remembers the 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 four the the little four pack of fountains that I got from from uh the TNT ones. We had them before the green storm, red storm, yellow storm. Now, no, well, they had on green. But Phantom had Phantom had ones, and they were a lot more. Like they had a set that was four ninety nine. I'll read the brands tomorrow, and then they had a set that was eight ninety nine. And um, they had an assortment. They no, well, so they had a set of a set of four mini fountains that were four ninety nine, and a set that were eight. And I thought that's really expensive, eight bucks. Like, and and they had a dragon boy for eight bucks too. Um, well, but it this this thing, this they, thing was small for eight bucks. This thing was like one of them little like square cartons you get. So almost like I think like a snap food, right? Um, no, no, it was like tall. It stood up like almost so you get like a, a a friendship fountain, but a little bit bigger. Yeah, I mean. So, like I, I saw, and, and one more thing, I saw that one, they were, what was that one we were looking at? Majestic Lightning, they were selling fake bucks. That, if you're, if you're looking for a fountain, that was, that was actually worth it, I think. Because it kind of, it, it went long for what it's... Yeah, it went for a minute and 26 seconds. 
I'm just waiting till my store opens. They're opening the store in Jackson, Yellow Group. I mean, uh, Pyro Nurse knows what I'm talking about. And we're going to get some good stuff there. So I didn't really want to buy a lot there. But you know what, man? And, and, I, I got to touch on it tomorrow. I really forget the price on this one. But they were super, super ex expensive. I think you said they were $1.99 for five yeah. neon shells. Five, five uh, neon yeah. smart Yeah, $5.99 for neon spark mirrors. That's a lot. They were were they down or five? They were five I think they were five ninety nine. That's a lot. And Yellow Groove says Phantom used to sell Crockett Sparks, no other place I know have them. I also I think also whistling spark mirrors. But they were several years ago and they look for them. I think they were about Well, if you look, man, uh this company I, I'm not sure, Yelgrim, if you've done them on your channel. I think you might have. They're by Liberty Bell. They're the ones that sell the whistling sparklers and stuff. But I think they were, I think you said they were something like a dollar. Nine, uh, I think they were five because you said they were expensive, right? They were like five ninety nine for five of them. Yeah, they were, they were, they were really, really expensive, like, it, it, it's, you know. They had, um, they had one assortment pack for, like, 40 bucks. They had one assortment pack for 40 bucks, and Yellow Groove, they had one there. They had one there, Yellow Groove and, uh, Pyro Nurse. Pyro Nurse, that's what I'm talking about. That one you bought at, uh, uh, Party Fair, that really big one for $100. They had one there, and I think it was $100, and it was, like, half the size of the one you got. What was that one I showed you? Uh, that big one? Uh, breaking. Yeah, Pyro Direct has some. Yeah. Um, it was something breaking 2 or something like I that. I don't know. Well, I'll showcase tomorrow, guys. I was just really, like, surprised. Well, the one, you'll notice that the one assortment that that I that he films, it was, like, right yeah. on, on another side for $40. Uh -huh. That was, like, half the size. Oh, the bigger one. So you could only imagine how much the bigger one was. Yeah, well, and the bigger one wasn't much bigger. You no, know? it really wasn't. And they were selling, they were selling like mini assortments. I mean, like small assortments for like twenty one ninety nine. Like get the. And they had five. They had packs of small balls for like two, three dollars, five dollars. I think. I don't know. There's, but their smoke balls. Their smoke balls didn't look that good. Uh yeah, ground stuff is legal in our state now, so now everywhere is selling. Ground stuff, which I don't care, man. I love the ground stuff. Like, never, apparently, uh, did they pass that law with the firework bill? Well, yeah, Christie signed a bill that said that that ground stuff would be legal in our state. What about that whole that other law that uh, they were that was going to water down the consumer fireworks? No, they never. <clears throat> that didn't happen. But how do you know that? Um, you know, so like I said, guys. Uh, like I was saying, uh, fireworks from life. Yeah, only ground stuff is legal in our state. And I kind of knew that wall. I kind of knew that wall wasn't gonna pass, just cause the whole China thing. But uh, another thing is that we we gotta touch on real quick. You know, um, my brother's talking. We we're, we're gonna. You know, I don't know where this whole YouTube thing's gonna go. We're still gonna continue to make videos as long as we can. And guys. When I get my licensing up, I'm getting, like, my music stuff together. I am going to be making uh, a new channel because I'm going to be doing covers. So okay. anyone can follow me on that. Um, I just have to get, like, two licenses because I didn't know if anybody knows about, like, you know, music, like, licensing. You need two licenses to do a cover unless you get permission from the band. You know, if you get permission from the band, you know, which that's... Like, one in a million chance. But, like, one person, one, uh, I think one part covers the audio. And I think the other licensing covers, like, the video portion of it. Yeah. So, you know, you, you know, so, like, I'm gonna get on that. Um, if anybody wants to follow me on Instagram, it's, um, Mr. Underscore MPV Underscore Music. I, I've got a song out, and I'm releasing another song. It should, it's going to be out sometime this, this, uh, like, maybe weekend or next weekend. Uh, I'm still trying to edit it and work it out. I'm using a program. Tomorrow I'm going to work on it, and then uh, it, should, it should be up on my SoundCloud page. 
which um my SoundCloud page is on my link. Um, um, the only thing there. that I will say, which is kind of like pissing me off, is that when you go on, when if you if, if anybody has used SoundCloud, if you don't have the SoundCloud app, like when you go in the SoundCloud app and you and you find my profile, it'll show all the tracks that I created, then my likes and my reposts. Like likes are like songs I like by other artists, and reposts are like when I, you know I take a song that you made and I repost it, you know, to my followers, and I and I show them about it. But you know, like with the app, I can you can go on and all my tracks are in order. But like when, when for some reason when you click the link that I have up, it brings you to the website, and I guess the website's like having an issue, and it's not like really. It doesn't like show my tracks. You have to scroll down because it wouldn't show my. The only it shows me like one new track that I made, and the only reason it shows it is because my friend reposted. But if my but if nobody reposted, then none of my tracks would have been there. And then I think it was you that clicked on it or something, and it, my brother clicked on it, and you couldn't even hear it. It was like all static. But then you know when you go on the app, you don't have you don't have that problem. And if you do want to make a SoundCloud, follow me. Uh, when you make an account, it's um, it's all capitals, Mister M R Space M P V, all capitals. Mr. Not M. to, not to cut you off, Matt, but I'm hoping that uh, Yellow Groove's got some stash videos coming. I got some stuff. I got a, I got a surprise for you, Yellow Groove, man. When when you see what's in that box, you're gonna be cool because you're gonna love it because. Uh, it's something that I I don't I am not sure if you can get near you because uh, are you gonna send him other things besides fireworks? Maybe, but it, uh, it's something that you you can't get here that I'm hoping that you can get like well that that it's very hard to get where you're from I think because they even told me where where my grandmother got them from. Jabs Fireworks said that they only have. They said that they only have a certain, like they they sold out of them real quick, and then they went back to a similar thing that's only a few. So, it's like a a minute less or something like that. So well, again, not to cut you off, but what I was saying again is to back to the whole music thing. When you when you follow me on Instagram, uh, not Instagram, um, SoundCloud, it's Mister Capital M R Space capital MPV and um you, sometimes when you download the app you like I've I've had people tell me oh that they were just able to go and log on and listen to me for free but uh and then some had to make an account but uh, if you want to follow me you're gonna you're gonna have to make an account and don't worry guys it's free and unless you go SoundCloud go then it's like 40 hour uh then it's like f- 4 99 a month which I think I might check it out just to see how it is. I mean, cause it's 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 one of the cheapest music services out there. Because like Spotify is like ten bucks a month. This is like five dollars a month. I might uh, check it out. So anyway, um, I just want to say if anyone follows me, um, thanks for the support. And um, yeah, I'm not giving it up. I hope to try to really put this track out. And yeah, you know, it just taken me a little bit because. Uh, you know, I just gotta get my voice right and everything, you know, and, uh, anyway, to anyone who follows me, again, thanks for the support, you know, for, you know, for supporting me and, um, supporting this channel, and, uh, one more thing, I uh, if I do cover videos and YouTube suddenly goes down the hill, I might make a Patreon, just so you guys can see if you guys really want to, like, see more cover videos, I mean, I really don't want to make you, make you pay, but I don't see any other way of um, doing it. You know what I mean? I don't see any other way of doing it. You know, without 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 making you pay. I mean, I'll keep continue to put YouTube videos up for free as long as I can. But then I might have to like start charging. I won't charge for each video. I'll just charge like a small fee, and then you guys can gain access to all the cover videos and other music stuff I do. So, yeah, man, we like that, man. And, you know. Yep. So, like I said, guys, like y'all groove, thanks a lot. Your support means everything for this channel. 
fireworks from life means everything, and uh, Pyro Nurse. Uh, I also want to give out some shout outs. My brother ain't in here, but you know, gotta give him a shout out. Barbecue Rando, he's been a supporter. Oh, 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 oh. there was a new guy that uh, subscribed to our channel. I don't remember this guy's name, but I hope he sees this video, and I want him... I know it's Detroit something. We'll look it up, and we'll give him a shout-out. Yeah, so we want this guy to know that we really appreciate that he subscribed, and that Just we... tell all his other subscribers to subscribe to Yeah, us. and that we, love, that we love that he subscribed to this channel. We love his support. Just like we love everyone's support. On this channel, we strive to put out good pyro, pyro content. And see, that's how we hope to eventually, eventually build. You know, because if you, if you, if say, let's say you've got how many subscribers have we got? We have seventy three right now. So say we get. Say I'm really get. working. I'm really working towards my goal is to work towards a hundred subscribers. So I'm hoping to get that. If I get eighty, that'd be real nice too. But say we get someone who has like you know uh, seventy three subscribers like us. You know what I mean. Then, you know, we get, like, like the new, like, this new subscriber, we get him to get all his subscribers, subscribers, then, um, then, you know, they subscribe to us, then, they you know, you know, we get all his subscribers to subscribe to us, then eventually, another person follows, we, of course, will follow them back, subscribe to them back, and then, we get their subscribers to subscribe, and then, we'll follow them back, and so on and so forth. Until we keep building, you know? That's, that's how you... The thing is, YouTube can't deny you... They can't deny you a plaque. Even if you're not a big YouTube... If you get 100,000 views, they can't deny you a plaque. They kind of like... You know, that's like, I think, mandatory. They, they have to give you one if your channel reaches that many. Yeah. I'm not saying... I'm not saying that's a pipe... That's kind of like a pipe dream, but, you know... If it happens, they can't deny us. Nah, you know what, man... I really hope to get, like, I really hope, you know, one day to get, like, you know, soon, like, to get, like, 80 subscribers. And then I really want to get, like, 100. So, i um, big, big goal if we really thought about a 1,000. Yeah, that would be, that'd be cool. Like, if I had a 1,000 subscribers, like, that'd be awesome. Because, you know what, man? You know, dude, I really know my stuff. Like, when I walk into fireworks stores... And I educate the people that own the store on stuff that they didn't know about. Like, I, that, you know, like, it's cool. Like, I'll tell, uh, Pyro Nurse they're taking applications for the store. Oh, and if Pyro Nurse, well, I don't think Pyro Nurse is still in here. But he'll, but I'll text him and let him know that the store by me is taking applications. And, yo, Rip, I got a question for you, man. Like, how come... You never thought about working at one of those stores, like so that way you can get, um, you know, some mega mega discounts. Like, do you ever think about being like a cashier for it around the holidays? Like, I don't know. Or some just even like the weekends. Yeah. Well, not even. Yeah, even just the weekends too. Something to think about. Anyway, if, I'm going to bed. So. All right, he's going to bed. I'll be up for a little bit while. Something to think about, man. It really is something to think about. You know? You say to yourself, Ooh, you know? Fireworks for life. It's it's not out of reach, bro. You know, once you hit, like, 18, they'll hire you. You know what I'm saying? It, you know? They'll... they'll They'll definitely hire you, man. Like, but, you know, the thing the thing of it is, too, man, is they want knowledgeable people, too. Like, you have to be able to stand. You have to be able to, like, if somebody comes to you and says, what do you recommend? You have to be able to tell them what you recommend and what you like the best and why you like, why you think it's the best. And if they ask you for a certain product, like what fountains would you recommend, or what what you know what 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 are shells would you recommend? You have to be on the ball about that stuff, because I've been places, and I've seen like 
people sometimes are just not as knowledgeable. Like I was in south of the border, and this guy's like, "I want some firecrackers that are gonna wake up my neighbors." So what happened was, is I saw the two guys there, and they're recommending them firecrackers. So I went right over, and I'm like, "Dude, we're gonna we're just gonna get this out of the way. I recommend the black cats because." The black cats are, although I have, I will say this, I have not been impressed with their performance lately. It's just not, it's just not up to, up to their standards anymore. They used to be kind of like a no-dud guarantee. And now, you know, I, you know, I've lit off some, I've, I've lit off a few packs and they're not, they're not as good as they used to be. They're just not, you know. I go to pick them up, like, after it's all done. I mean, this is a while after it's done. So, you know, I'm not going to get hurt. Like, this is, like, our, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then they're just firecrackers that haven't lit yet. Like, that they haven't, they haven't even gone off. And, oh, yo, what up, Pyro Nurse? I was going to tell you, bro, they're taking applications for the Jackson store. So, if you want to work there, I suggest... You know, you go there and 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 sign up, cause like, dude, like, they definitely can use people around the holidays. I mean, I want to work there, but I don't think it's like I don't know if it's like feasible for me to do it. But for you, definitely, man, and it would be cool to see you work there, cause you know, then then you get discounts. But not only would you get discounts at that store. You would get discounts at just their other store, too. And, dude, let me know, like, um, we might, we might be going up to, um, uh, Big D's Fireworks in, like, Probably like the beginning of June, I would say. So if you want to meet beforehand. If you want to meet beforehand. And and hand me some money. If you want me to pick you up. A really good case of. Case of canister shells. For really cheap. I mean like 70 bucks. I think 70 bucks is cheap. So, you know, if you want me to do that. I can. I can do that for you. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong, man. The the lightsaber shells, they're great shells, man. They, they are. But you know what, man? They're an amazing shell. But the continuum shells that I got for 74... Oh, what's up, Pyro Bear? 420. Listen, I'm going to tell you this, man. Sorry if my phone says rotating... Rotate device. I just want to have it on the charger. Okay, guys. So, sorry. I'm using it on the charger real quick. Shell prices have went up for the good ones. Yeah, but... See, the stores... The stores that I go to Yellow Roof... I mean... I mean, they may have went up, but... Um... Sorry. Hold on. I just want to make sure... I don't know. I'm looking at this. It's true, cause you're saying because the last time I went to Red Apple, and and hold on, I asked the holiday. The screen, she said, all screen. No, that's not true. All screaming rockets are not the same, because I, if you look on my channel. <clears throat> I have I have M one hundred rockets and they are definitely I have two versions of them. I actually picked like one version up for like seventy five cents for a pack and then I even saw them for sixty nine cents when I went back to jabs. But I picked these other ones up at South of the Border, which I've been really looking for them and I found them. And let me tell you Yeah, let me tell you they are all different. These ones that I have on my channel are real fat. And let me fucking tell you, they pack a punch. Like, they are loud. 
I mean, they are a hundred times louder than those ones that the um, Night Stalkers by World Class. hundred times louder. They are so loud. Like, it's crazy. Like, it's just crazy how loud they are. And they're great. And I love them because, I mean, they, you know, like some of them, you light them off and the whistle dies out. Like, it just goes, but these ones, you light them off and from the minute they go up, they're just like, or sometimes they crackle. I've, I've had them done both, but I don't know if they're supposed to do it, because I've had more that popped, but I'm telling you, it, it, it's, you you definitely notice a difference with some of them, you know, even, even the, the screaming bottle rockets, like, they're nice. Yeah, that does make sense. A lot of things you'll notice are rewraps, like, honestly, like, I have these shooter shells, and they're by Cutting Edge. And if you look, they're rewraps of x cows, but only they're watered down. Like, like the x cows I feel like, are watered down, and these are not. If that makes any sense, like, because that's what I heard. That they're watered down, so. And, so, yeah. I, I, well, I've, I've even seen, like, I don't know about Excaliburs today. Still looking for Major League Power Fountain Max. Other screen rocks are good if you can find them. That they are, man. I've seen them done on your channel. They're, they're decent. Yeah, man, I heard those fountains are good in Major League Pyro. I don't know. I, I, I've, I, I've seen a channel that has them. See, what I really want to get to, though, is, uh, no, I, I, I can't think of a store. I know there's a store that has a man. I don't, I don't quote me on it. I want to say, I believe it's either Connecticut or Connecticut or... Okay. Okay. It's either Connecticut or New Hampshire. That I don't remember the store, but I think I saw a video on it, and it was New Hampshire, New Hampshire, or Connecticut. So, uh, younger of question for you: Do you still shop at Shelton Fireworks? Because I've always wanted to shop at one of their stores. Because I've seen them on the computer and it's just massive. Like I haven't been in a fireworks store that big. Because I know you got them in Indiana. You got Shelton's. Yeah, yeah, dude, and they're, and not for nothing, but, I mean, I've seen a lot of videos of people that go to Shelton's and whatnot, and they're cheap. Like, I like, I like fireworks stores that have, like, loose, that have loose stuff, because that's where, you know, you can get stuff for cheap, if you just want one of them, which is fine. You know, you want one or two, you know, you don't gotta spend, like, a ridiculous amount of money on, like, a pack of like skyrockets, you just buy loose ones, which I don't mind that either. And like you can buy loose novelties and stuff. So yeah, I really items. I know. See see the only Shelton's that I have that's that's even remotely near me, it would be I mean like hours away and it's like not even like, cause see when you go down to Florida and they have them in South Carolina. 
but they're not even in the vicinity of where, like, we'd have to drive across the whole state to, uh, to get to a Shelton's fireworks, because I looked it up, like, because, you know, for anybody that knows, I mean, Pyro Nurse knows when you drive down to Florida, you know, how that goes, but it's not even, we're not, I'm not even, we're not even in the vicinity of one, like, they're, like, across the state, it's so out of the way, but I want, and there's, and I think there's, like, two separate locations, but they're, they're definitely out of the way, but I'm gonna try, like, hell this year, I don't, no, let me see what they said. How about the episode of Fireworks? With 35 to 45, I have 8. Yeah, but like you said, with those 8 stores, like, have you shopped at all those 8 stores? Because, let's be honest, Indiana's got a lot of them. But for price-wise, they're expensive. Like, it, it's, it's, it, they're expensive. You know, you, you, like I said to you, see, what I do is, I walk in a store, and, and the first thing, <clears throat> the first thing, I'll kind of like, with an hour of interest, team, for me at the mustache shop, they all, no, nah, you know, Pyro Bear, it's, you know, let's be on, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about a discussion here, because, I don't want to bash Phantom. Like, I know it seems like everybody's bashing them. But you know what? They got some decent, decent stuff in there. I mean, and and I've only, and I've only come to have sort of a little respect for them. Because I've seen their stuff go off in action. And it is, it is definitely, I mean, listen, you're going to pay for it. It may not be worth the money to some, but... It's it's definitely like worth like seeing it go off. Like they don't their cakes are not crappy. I mean dude, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite two hundred gram cakes. Uh, but only ten percent of the product. There's a lot of different companies in it. Yeah, but but see dude one of my favorite 200 gram cakes by them, and it's definitely not a rewrap. You can find them. Yeah, well, what I was going to say is one of my favorite 200 gram cakes by them is Emerald City, I think. I mean, I don't know if it's been watered down in the last couple of years. Indiana Tice, yes, yeah, Well, I'm not going to say that with all TNT stuff, because you know what, bro? I, I've been very happy with some of the TNT stuff that I got this year, that I got last year, uh, for, you know what I'm saying? I've been very, I've been, I've been pleasantly surprised with some of it, but, so it's not all low quality stuff, but Phantom, some of it is high quality stuff, you know? Like I said, Emerald City's great, Red, White, and Boom is great. Um, Emerald City is a great cake. Some TNT stuff is actually good, yeah. Yeah, you see, the thing that I really like, and so, and, and y'all, if you're ever at a Phantom, if you ever go back to Phantom, which I don't know if you will, but if you're ever in that area, go in there. And I'm telling you, get the Seismic Wave Crackers. I don't even know if they still make them anymore. That's how many years ago I had them. That's how many years ago my neighbor got them. But they were loud. I mean, dude, like... Dude, it was loud. Why White Boom is a brother's king? They just added... They just added... There's no five shots to the beginning. And it's the same name by Borders. Just repeat the five shots twice. And rumors have it. That there's five big waves. Dude. Dude. Um, 
Yeah, si dude, the seismic wave crackers, yellow groove. They're like, I'm gonna show you, like, sorry if my face is like this, but they're like this. Almost sort of like, and it's like a big, like, giant, like, firecracker. But you light them, and it breaks open, and it just goes boom, 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 boom. But it is so much loud, like, it is so much louder than the crap you buy. It's got a bunch of firecrackers in it. It is like, dude, like I, like, cause my neighbor. Yeah, it, they're they're great. You know, they they're loud. Like, look them up on the computer. You'll see how loud they are. But the computer won't do them justice. But and they come in like four packs. My neighbor had them, but he had a. I'm going to turn my, my thing here so you guys can see this. That, that, like, sorry, my shoe's in the way. My shoe went in the way. So I can show you this, this madness. One year, I, sh I shit you not, we had that, that, that's that section that's got four tiles, which you're looking at right now. All fireworks in a box. I mean, a box that big, and I'm telling you, it was at least a couple thousand dollars worth of fireworks. Cause my neighbor worked for, he works for a heating and air company. Well, he, the neighbor I used to live by, my it was my best friend's dad for years. Yeah. Oh my God, dude. Um. <clears throat> yeah. So. <clears throat> he would go up. They had a, they have a phantom in the in the Delaware Water Gap, you know, right there by the river, which I went to that one. And so he he would go there, and he would bring probably at least a thousand dollars each time he went. It was nuts, like, and that's the the box we had and. And, I sh like, it was so big. I mean, like, I was telling you all, I was telling you, Yellow Groove, he had these, if you remember we talked, he had these, these fountains. And, like, it was a cage. And they were 500 gram fountains. They spun left, spun right. He had all the, the, he didn't have any canister shells, but he had a lot of the, the doubles, triples, and quad breaks shells. Oh my god, dude, he had everything. I mean, he had 500 gram cakes coming out the ass. Bricks of black cats. I mean, it was nuts. And and I think that, like, dude, if you, if you had as many fireworks as he did, as we went off in that one night, dude, I'm telling you, you wouldn't have to go shopping for at least, I would say at least two years, two to three years. If you saved it all and 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 didn't, you know, go crazy and light it off and only got small stuff to light off because that's how much we had. And I couldn't believe that it all went off in that night. And I even brought over some fireworks. And, you know, I had some, some, but I didn't have that many at the time. I mean, I only had about 70 hours worth, but I still had some, you know, big, decent skyrockets and whatnot. But, yeah, we, we had a lot courses you know my 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 best friend's mom was pissed because she she like it's not that like she doesn't hate fireworks she just knows that that they're dangerous and that you know because like I walked over there like I walked over there. it was for his birthday and I walked over there and they were lighting off fireworks they were lighting off like 500 gram cakes off his like he's got he had this shed and next thing you know I just see boom and sparks go everywhere except up in the air. Like it was it was crazy. So, you know, she was not happy that day. But like I said, we just like imagine a whole block, like a whole street, just fireworks going off everywhere. Like that's that's what it was and it was nuts. Like, I mean it was it was not like I couldn't like I would never buy 
the amount of fireworks he did. Like, I would never buy that much. I couldn't justify that. And and I and I always told him, I was like, I was like, why don't you go somewhere else? Like, there's cheaper stores. I mean, hell. I mean, I'm not saying I used to be a fan of them. Even Sky King is cheaper than they are. You know, like, it's just nuts. Like, he had one of them cards, like the Premier member, the black cards, which was pretty crazy. He had that because he, it was just nuts. He had the Premier, the Premier member card. It was a black card, and that was just, you know, like that. That, you know, when you walk in there with that card, <clears throat> that's the only way. That you're going to get huge discounts from Phantom. Because that tells you that he's, he's spending a lot. You know, like he even brought around, like that year, he brought around the catalog. And he's like, anybody, look through the book and tell me what you want and I'll buy it. And I was just like, I mean, you know, not not that the prices were too rich for my blood. It's just like, I used to be remember, remember until they took it away. They no longer do that. They only know base. But how were you a premier member there? Did you spend a lot there, Pyro? Pyro Bear? Because, yeah, because, yeah, this is quite, this is quite a few years ago. I mean, like, more than five years ago. This was when, because I remember seeing the card. He showed me the card. And he's just like, yeah, I got the premier membership, and <clears throat> but that's that's how you know that you're spending, dude, at least two, three, four, five grand in the store. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's how they give it to you because they know, you know, they know. Don't use that more. I grew up doing fireworks. I used to sell fireworks. I'm with my aunt. I'm with my aunt. They gave us. They gave us. A saw of that simple. Works for her store. Hard. For retail. As well as being able to host it. So I've been employed for it. But. I said I'm about the whole case. That's cool. Yeah man. I used that boy rack. You built me. I haven't used it lately, but yeah, I I used it. The last time I shot off some shells, I used it. So yeah, it got some wear and tear on it. Not much, but but I th I thank you for that again, man. That shit's dope. Like I love it, man. But uh, yeah, man, that shit is that shit is 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 like amazing. Yeah, see, I grew up doing fireworks, too, my whole life. Like, my neighbor would come, my neighbor's brother would come down from Pennsylvania, from uh, South Carolina, because he had a store. He knew somebody that owned a store, and he would just get, he would fill his whole trunk up with stuff. And I remember one year, he came down with one thing, one thing, and it was by Brothers, and you know, lit it off, and it was just like a triple break, big triple break show. And, uh... It had a whole bunch of them like that, and it was three hundred bucks for that one brother's item. So it, it was a lot. But yeah, man, it it's pretty crazy. You know, like those triple breaks. Yeah, man. But but I'm sure everybody knows this. But in case you know, I guess you don't. But what I don't like is. The most, the most, like, the higher you go for the shells, because I think they even make, they make the quad breaks, but I even think they make a five break shell. I think you can buy a five break shell. And see, what I don't like about that is, is the higher you go on the shells, like, the first two, three breaks are going to be great and big. But then, yeah, they make Quinn's. Quins are they six? Oh, Quins are five breaks. Yeah. See, see what I don't like about the what I don't like about those five breaks is is that that fifth break. 
that fourth and fifth break, you can barely see it. Like the the three the three the first three breaks are gonna be big, but then the last two are gonna be barely noticeable at all, and that's what I don't like. And not only that, but a lot of times, like I can get like excuse me, I can get. Canister shells and makes a V break. Feel no way more goes up higher than than any break I've seen. So I close up just as good as the trip break. I don't know if they if they still new brothers lost you may hear six break. It's scary because same lift charge sending a, a five shells except solo breaks on the quins. Yeah. Dude, I've had I've had I've had uh a uh, ball shells go kinda of low on me too. I, I hate when that happens, man. Like, that's not like my neighbor one time did a ball shell. And if you can imagine a street, like my street where I used to live had power lines on it. And I'm telling you, this ball shell got, if it went past, if it went past the power, past the, the, the power lines and exploded, like, that was it. And that was just like one instance of it going low. Like they break real low. Like I was telling Yellow Roof, I had I had my uh my cousin uh her uh husband, they were doing a fire they were doing a fireworks party. I had a fr- I had a flower pot once. And scare the shit of me. And her and her nice. What's a flower pot? Is that like? And I don't know what that is. is. That like a shell that went up low. But I was saying was I had a triple break. Sh- I had a um shell that went really oh explosion in the tube. Oh yeah, shit. I haven't had actually. No, what did I? I did one of those display shells one time, and what happened was is, so it went off all right, right, but, but, it fucking, oh sorry sorry, it went up, and it, um, like the I think it was a either a mime or comet shell, but I want to say it was a mime. It went up all right, but then the tube got sent up in the air too, like it came off of the plastic base. And so, I was like, whoa, that wasn't supposed to happen, you know? And then we've had, like I said, my cousin's husband, they had a fireworks party one year. And somebody's bright, somebody had this bright idea that they didn't have a mortar tube so they were going to use a Pringles can. Why, I don't know. So they lit the mortar inside the Pringles can. And what ended up happening was it just kept bouncing around in the Pringles can because it's got nowhere to go. So finally, it came out of the Pringles can and boom. On the ground, just boom. And then I had my cousin, which I, I just can't stand when people do this because... It just gives it just gives us pyro guys a bad name, like he like little mortar. Cakes can flower pot also, it, and it happens on a nine shot five hundred gram cake. Three inch shell scares. Me. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that happen. But what I'm saying is, my cousin like he threw a mortar shell. Like, and I, and I, it was, you know, he's just like, he's just like, mortar, and it, you know, like, that's scary, man, like, but, you know, happens when, you know, people do stupid things with fireworks, I just don't like when people do stupid things with fireworks, it's like, it just gives us a bad name, because, like, like, and that's, that's why, like, if I let off fireworks, and anybody's drinking, like, I have a zone, so, I, Tell them that you're gonna you're gonna get out of the you're this is where you're gonna stand and you're not gonna come nowhere near because I because like 
No, uh uh-uh. And I know too many people that do. Like, you know, listen, when I when I was younger, yeah, I mean I used to like not really like fool around with fireworks, but I used to do do some stuff with firecrackers, like just like throw them in garbage cans. You know, the kind of sh- the kind of stuff that everybody kind of does. Put them under cups and watch them explode. That kind of thing. But the bigger stuff, I have never fooled around with. Like, one year, we we had... I was telling y'all, Ruth. We, my cousin, Justin, was holding rockets. Like, the ones you see on the sticks. And he was holding them. And next thing you know... He's, he's lighting them off, and, and, you know, they're going off good and whatnot. My cousin's crazy, so he, he holds them in his hands, and he, he lets the spark shoot back on his hands because he's nuts. But anyways, he was holding them, and, and, he, and one, like, shot, and, like, it went, like, this way, and everybody was eating in the green tent. And... I had a friend years ago that lost his eye after a Roman candle war. They were they were shooting at it and then he couldn't no, see I don't see I don't like that at all either. I think that's just stupid. The Roman candle wars like And so so not not like it was by accident. Everybody was eating in this like green tent and whatnot and the rocket just shot like this way and it hit the green tent. Luckily I hold little bottle rockets like in camera. But after the thing too dangerous. Camera is close. Um when's that guy? Uh oh off that close, yeah. Yeah, so so of course dude like it was it was you know, like it wasn't it was like one of them, you know, like they look like push pops, those kind of rockets. Luckily they, I think they just popped, so it wasn't really, like, giant explosion. But it was enough to kind of, I guess, set the grass on fire a little bit. And so, of course, my uncle came out, and he was he was pissed. He said, Don't sir, I've had enough. You better put those fireworks, you better put those effing fireworks away. And yeah, he was mad. Because cause everybody was eating in this, like, mesh tent. You know, because it was summertime, and they keep the bugs out of the, bugs out of the, out of the way, you know, because they didn't want to get bugs. And, of course, all the, like, the rockets were, after they were done, they were going in this pool. (laughs) Yeah, so, you know, like, yeah, it was pretty crazy. I'll say that. It was, it was, it was definitely crazy. So, you know, like I said, um, so I was like, probably not, and otherwise, you know, I just have to hold them, yeah, dude, I actually, like, like, if you look on the computer, I'll go back to what you were saying, Yellow Groove, and, like, it just, like, when I hear about it, it, like, makes me sad and shit, because, you know, like, I don't, I don't like to hear Shit that happens with fireworks, like, but, um, they were, like, they, it was this video, and it was this two guys and a girl, and they didn't really, like, they didn't, like, like, it it was definitely a three-part thing here, like, she wasn't coerced into doing this, but, uh, she lost the, the rock, paper, scissors, she lost so she had to stand there and get shot with Roman candles. And, I mean, to me, they didn't look, like, too powerful. They weren't, like, really powerful Roman candles. But she was getting she was getting shot with them, right? You know, of course, you know, you get shot, you're like, ah, ah, because it burns. But next thing you know, she gets hit in the eye, and she just drops. Now, see, they don't know. You know, they're they're not like jerk jerks, you know, like they don't know what happened. So of course they're still shooting her, right? So, you know, she gets hit with like one more, one or two more shots and she's like, Stop, stop and they go, Wah wah and then she goes she's just like this Ah, ah and 
and she's like, and, and, and you can just see, like, so they, they lift her up, and, and her he, he, blood is pouring out of her eye, and she's just screaming, my eye, and she's like, it hurts so bad, and he's like, I don't know what you want me to do, and, you know, so they call the Indians, but yeah, man, it's, it's bad, like, I've even seen, like, I had one of my friends, this kid I knew one time say that he shot his friend with a crackling Roman candle, and the thing, because they were having a war, and the thing just went, it just went like this, like, poof, and it went, and it crackled all over his face, but I'll say the worst thing that happened, and it, I wasn't there, but my cousins were there, and I knew it, and I was, like, really good friends with the kid, kid's brother, I went to high school with him, so, it was a Boy Scout party, and they're real big, real big into fireworks, like, super, super big into fireworks, well, they were, so he's got mortars, like, you know, the standard one and a quarter inch mortars, you know what I'm saying, and then take care, but, uh, yellow group, just stay, I want to just tell you this real quick, so, uh, what happened was, man, before you go, well, Pyro Bear, I'll tell you, Py so, um, he was setting mortars up, like, like he had five tombs on a piece of plywood, and you know, like, and you know, like how people, like, I'm trying to show you my hands, like, people go, like, this is real dangerous when people go, like, like, sort of like this with their hands, like, you see the way my, like, I don't know if you can see, but let me get my, my hands out of it, but the way people, like, um, I'm just trying to show you my hands because the way people go like this, like they just like, they like the fuse, drop it in real quick, and then, you know, like that's what they do with all of them. Like that's real dangerous too, but he wasn't doing that. But I've seen some guy on the computer get hurt that way too. He had like four mortar tubes. And he was just lighting and dropping real quick and running away. But anyways, this guy, so he's lighting like five at a time. But, but he, he put them all in the tombs. So he's lighting them, and they're like five at a time, right? So the one doesn't go off. So he goes and he bends down to look in the tube. And, because he wanted to know why it didn't go off. Which is a very rookie mistake. Never look inside of a mortar tube. You know, like, cause if I have to, if, if I, if I wait hours later and that mortar tube goes off, the mortar goes off, I don't care cause at least I didn't get hurt. So if it's whatever time in the morning, they can say whatever they want, but I'll just say it didn't go off. But anyways, so he looks back in the tube, the mortar, sh the mortar shoots him right in the eye. His glasses split open. Bond is just pouring out of his eye. And the saddest part is, like your friend, he can't see. He lost his eye. And then, and I and I wasn't there. My cousins and uncle were there. Because, like I said, it was a Boy Scout party. And, you know what I'm saying? And it was, it's sad. My friend came into school one day. And they are big, you know, like, you wouldn't believe they are big pyro. They were big pyro people at one point. And he came into school the next day. And he's like, you know anybody that wants to buy some fireworks? So I'm trying to sell some fireworks. Because they, they, they were just so traumatized. Like, they wanted to get rid of it. Like, when you're gla when when that mortar explodes right in your eye. And, and your glasses split open. And you got blood pouring out of your eye. That's some shit right there. Like, I don't know. Like, if, I've, if I saw that. And I'm being real with you, Yellow River. If I saw that. I don't know. How much fireworks I would still I would still be doing I don't know like i I would seriously like cut back you know what I'm saying because that's some sh that is some real shit right there like it's 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 scary man and you know what man and what also before you go to what also gives people what gives us power guys a bad name is all these idiots around the country yeah. 
you know, you know what what gives us pyro guys a bad name also before you go is like these idiots around the country. Like I can't stand. Like I was telling you, that neighbor of mine. He had some people over his house that were a little bit tipsy, lighting off fireworks. And, you know, I, I hate that. Like, if you're drunk, stand at a safe distance and watch them. Why do you have to light them off? Like, I had somebody tell me, one of my friends, this guy I work with, tell me, get fireworks, that's the best time to light them off is when you're drunk. And I go, no, that's like... One of the worst times to light them off. Yeah, like, alright, if you have a beer or two, that's, that's fine. Or if you're, like, sipping on a beer, that's also fine, you know. But any, any more after, like, two, you shouldn't be handling fireworks. And when I say beers, I just mean maybe, like, you know, like, I don't mean, like, you know, 40s. I mean, like, Coronas or Bud Lights. You know, stuff like that. Otherwise, you should not be handling fireworks. Drunk. Alcohol fireworks is fortunately nasty. That's why emergency rooms are busy on the fourth day. That is true, man. And that's and that's another thing. Like, And I'll say probably the number one, you know, thing that they get are hands and fingers blown apart from people misusing firecrackers. Like, firecrackers are not... To be like fucked around with, like I had a friend. My friend told me right. He said he he his uncle before he passed away used to get these brand of firecrackers. He's like, oh yeah, my uncle lights them in his hand. It only feels like a bee sting. I'm like, are you nuts? Like I would never do that. Like it's just you're asking you're asking for like so much trouble. You know what I'm saying? Like you look at 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 places around the country. And what do you think the most firework related injuries they get are? <clears throat> Fingers that are blown off. Body parts that are, are blown off because of firecrackers. That's what they get. Because you wanna know some I mean I mean I I, I, I kinda I think this to be true. I'm not positive, but I think that the number one firework in the US is firecrackers. Like, because you want to know some... Well, I would say firecrackers and Roman candles. Because you know what? When when our, when our parents were kids, they had they had Roman candles and firecrackers. That was what everybody played with on the 4th of July. Well, yeah, but... But if you think about... Yeah, you see shells... Yeah, but if you think about, like, what... What what the kids got when they were little, like especially like what my grandparents got when they were little, it was definitely firecrackers. It was Roman candles and probably a form of bottle rocket. That's probably what it was, was that. But uh, anyways, guys, did you know that sparklers, hot enough to melt soda can? Yeah, I've been shooting shot size Rumina, and now. Got them shells. Uh, yeah, man, and it's hotter than a gun too. It, it, yeah. The spark. If you shoot a gun off, and then light a sparkler, the sparkler is 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 hotter. Definitely, hotter. But um, yeah, it it it's definitely hot. Those sparklers can touch. Like hotter than a, than a gun, a pistol going off. Yeah, the color, well, even the color, even the gold ones, man. You know them, them, them gold like ones with the metal handles, the wick ones. They're they're hotter than a gun. And and that's crazy to think about. And you want to know something else that's crazy? You, I mean, you think back, like, four years ago, right? I'm just giving, like, a, a time. Four years ago, the metal wires is hot for me. Yeah. And you want to know something? What's crazy, y'all, Groove and Power Bear, is that, yeah, I mean, like, I'm just saying, like, four years ago, all fireworks were legal. But to think 
that sparklers were legal. Obviously, some if a cop rolled by in my neighborhood and saw me doing sparklers, really not gonna say nothing. This is not, you know, they're not gonna give me, you know, they're not gonna give me like a super, super hard time about that. You know what I'm saying? But you know, they're not gonna. I have three foot long sparkles. Yeah, man, I had some long ones too, but they got kind of wet. So I gotta buy new ones. Uh, my mom said they got wet there for my pyro demon. So. But yeah, man, like, it's it's crazy to think that even sparkles were illegal. The only thing that were not illegal back then is I could always get spark, I could always get smoke balls at my local 7 Eleven. If you have those by you, guys, I don't know if you do. You might. But I think Yellow Groove's got them by him. But it's just like, it was just like, like a ridiculous, like, like three, like three, like almost four something for six smoke balls. Like, that's a lot. But, you know, you kind of have to take it as, as that that's what you can get. So you got it, you know. And then they had this. George Washington assortment, which is basically like, you know, your bang snaps. They had the booby traps where you pull them, and they're a little bit louder. Those things were fun. Uh, some confetti poppers were in there too as well. So you know, that's basically what we got. And if we were lucky enough to find a spot that had, like, if you went to the flea market. If you went to the flea market, that you could find a spot that had some firecrackers. I mean, some sparklers. All right, hey man, um, thanks for um, uh, joining in Yellow Groove. Like I said, your support means everything. Uh, thanks to Pyro Nurse, to Fire Some Life, for Yellow Bear, for Yellow, uh, for uh, Pyro Nurse Yellow. Uh, Pyro Bear, Yellow Groove, and anybody else that joined in. I will say this though, Yellow Groove. I, I had a guy one time that was going to get me fireworks at the flea market. He said he was going to buy an assortment pack. Like from South Carolina and just sell me individual stuff. But his a buddy of his went down and got his car impounded from buying fireworks. So it can happen. You know, they will impound your car if they find stuff. I even I, I even knew this guy that was bought fireworks from South Carolina and next thing you know he like they they bought a whole the funniest thing, they bought a whole truckload of them, right? And he's saying, Yeah, we're looking down the road and all our fireworks are just falling out of the back of the truck. <laughs> and he's like, We didn't have time to go back and get them. So somebody scored on that deal if they weren't ruined. Alright guys, like I said, I'm going to go to bed. Um, This is Power Freak 1993 signing out. Like I said, don't forget to comment, rate, like, and subscribe on the vid. And thanks for everyone's support. And glad they enjoyed the live vid. Kind of my pyro rant. Peace. Oh, and I just want to say one more thing about... TNT before I get off for anybody that wants to watch this over again. And, you know, um, what I will say is if you go to TNT, if you, if you go to Phantom, definitely look out for that buy one, get two. That's all I'm going to say about that. That's when you can sort of get a little bit of a break in there because, you know, if you're buying one and you're getting two free, kind of, the price kind of averages out if you're going to buy you know, stuff in there that's kind of reasonable. You know, they, they, everywhere's got some stuff that is reasonable. You know, if you really look hard enough. You know, I don't know who else is in here. Uh, well, it's probably Yellow Groove. And joined and joined out because his stomach is rolling. And booby traps are fun, by the way. But anyways, uh, if you're in here, Pyro Bear, I'm going to sign off, man. So, like I said... This is Power Freak 1993 signing out. Don't forget to comment, rate, like, and subscribe on this vid. And thanks. Oh, well, all right, man. Gotta go. Be safe and and have a good night, my pyro friend. Phantom is okay with the buy one get one. 
especially when you get use your the shell kits. Yeah, no, well, yellow group. Before you go, I was just gonna say what I said before. Their buy one get one's great, but I just got an offer like because I signed up for their phone text, and they're doing buy one get two, so that's even better. But peace out. So definitely, you know, everyone look out for their buy one get two, because that's what I that's what I would go there for is their buy one get two, and uh, Sky King was giving away a free cake. For all veterans yesterday. But it wasn't really worth it. Because it was only a. Uh, it was only a 19 shot cake. And I hate those cakes that are rapid. So yeah. I hate the cakes that shoot. <coughs> off the shots really fast. And this is basically what that one is. But alright I won't keep you. From getting your grub on yellow roof. Peace out brother. And like I said thanks for the support. And uh. I gotta see how we end this live in. I know how we end it, but... Okay, so... Yes.